Here's Gautam Shah of JM Financial with another take on the market. Gautam, morning. Uh, from 34,500 Nifty, how are you mapping it? What's the next leg? Uh, good morning, Udiyan. Well, uh, the kind of move the markets have seen over the last uh, three to four weeks, I guess we've now come to a point where the bulls would be tested. In fact, a couple of weeks back, 3150 was important with a lot of market participants were watching. And, you know, once we were above that, there was a significant breakout on the charts. But I guess the next stop for this entire up move was and remains at around 3490, 3500. You know, the, 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 that's a point which is a resistance uh, uh, area based on a number of technical studies. And, you know, that would correspond to about 11,300, 11,400 on the Sensex. So if this entire rally that started off in the first week of March has to stop, it has to be around this level of 113, 11, 4, which we tested early, uh, uh, you know, late last week. And the reason we point it out is because based on four or five very, very important technical studies, this zone which I just mentioned is important. I think firstly, just, just to explain quickly, you had an Im important island reversal bearish pattern that was spotted in September last year, which a lot of technicians follow. And that pattern stands at around 11,300, 11,400. At the same time, you have the market overbought on most of the technical studies along with negative divergence, which is never a good sign. And you have the 200 DMA, which, which has become a big hype these days, which stands at around 11,200, uh, two, uh, you know, 250, 300. So based on very, very important technical studies, this is an area uh, which would provide problem to the bulls. And last Friday, I think the way the markets behaved in the last one, one and a half hours of trading, it almost seems that the bears are trying to make a comeback. So I think this is a time to be a bit careful. The market requires a correction, and we would not be surprised to see a 10% fall on the Sensex and Nifty from, from these levels. Gautam, morning. That that you think is the more likely outcome that the market retraces about ten percent from these levels, or that it could be deeper. Well, I think it should happen because uh, you know last week we came to a point where money making was very easy. You really did not require any analysis to go long in the market, and just about everything in the mid cap space. And you had so many stocks in the large cap space anyway doing well. So you know, whenever you come to a point when there is easy money making, you believe or technically you you want to believe that it's a blow off that is taking place, which I thought happened last week. And because the market has been gaining continuously for the last six weeks, I think some cool off has to happen. And if it has to happen, well, the the the, the levels which we just mentioned, I think, is a very very important resistance zone. So I think 10% is quite minimum from here, and therefore we are looking at about 3100, 3150 on the Nifty, and about 10100 to 10400 on the sex at least if not more what are the medium term charts telling you gotham but do you think we put a durable bottom in place at around 2500 nifty or do you see the possibility of a retest or a break anytime in 2009 well, you know, the, the, there is a conflict among the technical studies themselves. And, you know, unfortunately, we, we give a lot of importance to the Sensex and the Nifty. Because the la last time when I was on your channel, you know, you, you had eight popular sectoral indices actually below the October lows. You had 75% of the market below the October lows. And the Sensex and Nifty did not break the lows simply because of four or five stocks in the index. So I, I think we should not get too much carried away with what the Sensex and Nifty are doing. And, and you know, we strongly believe believe that uh, most of the market could have bottomed out uh, in, in, in the first week of March, particularly the mid-cap space on which we are very positive. But on the Sensex and Nifty, there are still no confirmatory triggers to suggest that a bottom in place. And therefore, uh, we would not rule out a revisit of the lows uh, possibly by, uh, you know, September this year. That, that, that's the kind of time frame which we have. But having said that, I think there are still a lot of opportunities in the mid-cap space. And any correction of 10, 15, 20 percent in the mid-cap space, I think, is an opportunity to buy. But on the indices themselves, I, I, I think there is still room for substantial weakness and one should be careful uh, on, on that front. What is the tie-in with global markets over here, Gautam? Is that what you expect to see on the key global indices as well? Yes, I think the picture is quite similar everywhere. I think the world is overbought at this point. You know, j just like India, you have most of the other Asian markets rallying for the last six weeks. Some markets have outperformed like a China, you know, like a Taiwan, and other markets have uh, moved in line with India or have underperformed. And I think what's really important is the U.S. market because even the Dow has uh, rallied very well from, from the lows. And it is now from, at a point from where I guess even the Dow could correct. I think uh, 8,300 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, 8 
880 on the S&P 500 are extremely important and the and the US market charts are not looking all that strong at this point so i would believe that over the next uh, uh, you know 7 to 10 trading sessions you could even see a 10% drop in the US markets and if that were to happen i think india and the other markets would have to correct so i think the entire world looks overbought and you know you never know you could get some bad news uh, out of the blue that could really uh, take take the markets down Stay on Gautam. We'll take a quick break and come back and discuss many other things with you. Right now, the market's okay. 34.17 on the Nifty. The Sensex up 117 points at 11,140. So, and the breadth is pretty good. Two and a quarter percent higher than the mid cap index. When we come back after the break, we will continue with Gautam. Tell you which small caps are moving today. So, lots of trade talk after the break. <laughs> 